The Note 9 is, at the moment, the very best device Samsung has to offer. Let's see together what they have managed to put inside this quite large phone. New Samsung's flagship is very similar to the older Note generation, but of course there are some changes. The Note 9 is a very tall device, which will mostly demand both hands to use. Compared to the Note 8 that had a 6.3 inch display, the Note 9 has an even bigger display of 6.4 inches, because the chin is smaller. Fingerprint scanner, just as in the S9, is now located below the camera sensor, but it is still placed too high and it's easy to miss. The back panel is made of glass and it is protected just as the front panel by Corning Gorilla Glass 5, while the edges of the device are made of aluminum. There's also the new S Pen inside which is a Bluetooth module and it can now be used as a camera shutter apart from all other uses. The Note 9 comes in metallic copper, lavender purple, ocean blue and midnight black color options. Inside the factory box there are many things, a fast charging adapter with a Type-C cable, tuned AKG headphones with spare buds, USB-A and micro-USB to Type-C converter, user manuals, a SIM tray tool, as well as a replacement S Pen tips with a replacement tool. As we've already mentioned, the Note 9 has a 6.4 inch display built in Super AMOLED technology. The biggest screen resolution available is WQHD+, but it can be shrunk down to Full HD+, or even HD+, in order to save battery power. Available display modes are Adaptive Display, AMOLED Cinema, AMOLED Photo, and Basic. AMOLED Cinema has a very accurate P3 color profile, which is a step above the sRGB. Regarding the visibility on the sunlight, we can say that the Note 9 showed all content very accurately, but we still could see better results on other devices. Always on display is also here on this device. Samsung Galaxy Note 9 comes in our market equipped with Exynos 9810 chipset, while in America it comes with the Snapdragon 845. Memory built into this device depends on the version you have, and it either comes with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, or 8GB of RAM and a whopping 512GB of internal storage. Even after longer gameplay, the phone warms up only barely and there is no thermal throttling at all. While we're at it, it's worth to mention that it's amazing to play PUBG Mobile on this phone. Exynos CPU paired with the Adreno 630 is an amazing combination, and they perform amazingly together. This device scored 241,000 points on the Adutu benchmark. The speaker of the Note 9 is equipped with Dolby Atmos system, and it is not particularly loud, for example the LG's boombox system is much louder, but sound quality on the Note 9 is much better. Bixby button is in the same place and it cannot be reprogrammed. Bixby Vision didn't receive any updates, and as it did in the S9 Plus, it thinks that the wood glue we have here is a bottle of vitamins. Note 9 right now, out of the box comes with pre-installed Android 8.1 OS. An update to 9.0 Pi is expected soon. Samsung Experience UI version 9.5, which has plenty of customizable options, is placed on top of the stock Android. The only thing that has changed here compared to the S9 Plus is the sensor size of the second sensor in the primary setup, which doesn't mean much. On the back there are still two cameras, both have 12 megapixel resolution, and the first one has variable aperture that goes from f1.5 to f2.4. The second sensor is a telephoto sensor that adds a 2x optical zoom. Still, we did get something new, software-wise that is, a scene optimizer. We'd say AI technology, but Samsung doesn't want to call it that. This mode can recognize 20 scenes and it does its job very well. When it comes to the quality of photos, our impressions are the same as they were in the S9+. Plus. Incredible photos, amazing details and vivid colors, just as everything should be in a 2018 flagship. This is definitely one of the best cameras out there. When it comes to nighttime photos, at first we thought that the phone has problems with capturing well-lit places in the dark, until we didn't turn the scene recognition on. In night photo mode, photos became much better. There is still a little bit of noise, but the details are well kept even under the moonlight. Portrait mode or live focus is also here. 
The phone is a bit too oppressive when separating the object from the background, especially when the light is scarce. Sometimes the edges are too sharp and unrealistic, but for the most part, the results are quite good. Videos are captured in maximum 4K resolution at 60fps. Optical image stabilization is always active and electronic doesn't work only in 4K 60fps recordings. Videos and photos have plenty of details and capture really nice colors. Super slow motion recording that captures videos in 960fps is also here, but it only works in 720p HD resolution. Nonetheless, these videos look stunning. The front-facing camera of this device is an 8 megapixel sensor and it is equipped with the autofocus system. Nothing over the edge, but still a magnificent camera which supports portrait mode as well. Our version of the Note 9 supports two cards through a hybrid slot, meaning that it can store either two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM and one micro SD card. We've already mentioned that there is a 512GB version of this device, and the phone supports microSD card expansions up to 512GB, which means that the, for the first time in a mobile device, there's a theoretical maximum of a whopping 1TB of memory. USB Type-C port serves for charging a data transfer. Something else that's new is that DEX communication no longer needs a station. Everything is set with just a monitor and an HDMI cable. Fortunately, this time around, there's an improvement regarding the battery. Only a 3300 mAh battery didn't really pair well with the Note 8, but things have changed. Note 9 has a battery capacity of 4000 mAh, which is more than enough to last through a whole day with around 5-6 to six hours of screen on time. Charging has remained the same as it was. Standard charger is equipped with Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 technology it charges 38% of the battery in only 30 minutes, while a full charge takes around 1 hour and 40 minutes. Note 9 is made of glass, and in 2018 it means that it supports Qi wireless charging, but you won't get one stock charger in a factory box. You'll need to buy it separately, but it won't cost you too much since they are available for around 20 euros. Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is really an amazing device with a lot of features, options and capabilities. However, the biggest hurdle here is the price. A thousand euros for a smartphone is a lot of money. If you choose to buy this device, we recommend you wait a little bit until the price drops down. Do you like the Samsung Galaxy Note 9? We'd like to hear your opinion in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions or you would like to see some new devices being reviewed, let us know either here or on our Facebook page. If you liked this review, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Sit back and relax as we're working hard on new material for you.